What's up guys and girls, Uber Mike SoCal here with another continuation of how to be a better Uber driver. This is part number three. In the last episode, I touched upon a number of different things, mainly on how to improve the rider experience and a simple greeting. In this episode, I'm going to discuss music, the do's and don'ts about that, and Ultimately, how to get to the person's destination pleasantly. Ensure you'll get a five-star rating, most of the time anyway. As we know, nothing in life is a given, but do your best to get those results. So, in terms of music, everybody likes something. I've had drivers tell me they only play AM radio. Well, I hate AM radio, but does my driver know that? Probably not. Some people, like me, play alternative rock and classic rock in their cars primarily. That's what I do. I'm a big rock fan of all genres of rock. If you're in my car, chances are you're going to rock. So some people like that. Other people don't. So what do you do? You don't know this person. Do you ask them what kind of music they want? You can. I generally don't unless the topic comes up in a discussion. Like for instance, let's say you got the radio on, your MP3s, whatever you're playing. A passenger starts rocking to that or nodding their head or like, oh, I like this song or even better, singing to it. Turn it up. Turn it up, man. That's what you do. You turn it up. Don't make it super loud unless they want it super loud. Like if you got a bunch of drunk people in your car and they're really digging your music, turn it up. It's cool. If it's just during the day and they're going to work or it's kind of early in the morning, generally loud music is not what you're wanting to do. Loud music is a no-go unless they request it, first and foremost. Now, what if they're kind of neutral to your music that you're playing? Okay, they may or may not like it. What I always do is I leave my volume at a low level, low meaning 10 or less, on my stereo, that's relatively quiet. Uh, doesn't start to get loud up until about 20. So rule of thumb is 10 or less, and just gauge how the customers into your music. Are they feeling it? Are they not? They'll let you know most of the time. If they don't say anything, you're probably good. Um, again, rider discretion is key on that. So music, pretty simple. If it's not loud, it can't be a problem unless they tell you it's a problem. So if it's a problem, change it. No problem. What are you wanting to listen to? What do you like to listen to? Do you have a favorite station? No problem. Okay. They're probably in your car 10 minutes or less anyway most times, unless they're on a long trip. But usually it's pretty simple. Put on what they want. If they ask, problem solved. Your goal is to keep them happy. And again, this is a free option. It doesn't cost you anything to make someone happy. It's all good. So once the music's down, you're on your way to your location, what else can you do to be a better driver? We touched on that a little bit in the past couple videos. Uh, elaborate a little bit more on that. Um, let's assume the ride is going really good. They're being friendly, they like the music, everything's great. Um, you're almost to your destination. And the ride's gone great start to finish. You pull up and drop them off at a location. If they're going to their house, look for the house number. It's pretty easy. Just look for the number. Some neighbors, neighborhoods rather, are going to have faded out numbers on their driveways. That's a little frustrating. But if you ever wonder, is this the right house? Just ask them. Is it the house on the corner here? Would you like me to pull up in the driveway or on the side? if you don't know where it is. That's, those are perfectly acceptable. Some people don't want you to be in their driveway. Some people will always want that. You never know until you ask. If you already know where you're going and it's pretty easy, it's just a business or something, park like you would. I always tell them if it's at a business or a restaurant, I'm gonna get you as close to the front door as I possibly can. And people always say thank you. Because guess what, you're going out of your way to do that. Even if it's going to take a little extra time to get them closer to the location, meaning you're not going to park out of the way and make them walk, you'd be amazed how many drivers do that very thing. 
just get them to their location and when they're going to exit the vehicle I always say well thank you very much you have a great day or something to that effect nice riding with you whatever you like to say as long as it includes a thank you if it includes a thank you you already did what most drivers never bother to do is say thank you it's not a hard concept it's pretty easy as long as you just always incorporate it into what's natural for you to say at the end of the ride you may like to go over the top and joke about it in terms of your delivery maybe you're a straight face serious guy no problem nothing wrong with being courteous and thankful for the ride this will not only increase your ratings by thanking them they will have an impression of you as a driver that hey I take Uber all the time. Why don't my other drivers, why aren't they not doing this? They don't ever thank me. That's kind of weird. It'll get them thinking. I get so many five-star ratings just from that alone. And you can actually see it on five-star rating comments. And I have a list of them in my app here that I'll go ahead and just show you since we're on the video. Let me load up my Uber program real quick. These five-star comments are not from me and while we're at it I'll show you my current driver rating BAM 4.85 yeah this is proven a very bad rater rated driver is a 4.6 to 4.69 that's barely keeping your job a good rated driver is going to be 4.8 or above just to show you this is me what is this 1425 lifetime trips as of August 17th 2006 1126 rated trips and guys out of those 1126 rated trips guess how many are five stars 988 I'm not sure if you can see that or not it's probably a little blurry but I assure you 988 five stars what I'm telling you works here, guys. Incorporate a simple thank you. And it'll do wonders for you. Lastly, I want to thank you again for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope it helped out. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit the like. Smash that thumbs up. Hit subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you're wishing to drive for Uber, look in that about description. It'll have the direct link. Your bonuses can vary anywhere from 100 to, I've seen up to a $750 sign-up bonus just by using my code. It's easy. Do yourself a favor. Learn all you can about Uber. Enter that link and gladly support my channel. I'll be happy to make more videos for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Sorry I dragged on a little bit long. In the next series of videos, I'm going to go into a few exciting stories and things that have happened to me personally that maybe you can learn about, if not, get a good laugh out of. Thanks again, guys. See you soon.